Yeah, do you want... Is anyone's phone Oh, no, 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 that's not a phone charger, that's for... That's for oh, my HDMI splitter. Uh, I need to charge my phone. Uh, there is a fourth slot, I think, on that one down there. Look at this guy, with his mobile devices. Is there, oh, is there not one there? Oh, damn it. Is it USB? Oh, they're all, oh I've used up all the USBs as well, man. You're knackered, mate, sorry. We are into game one, and they're not even going for a button check. We're going in. No button checks, no warm-ups. We don't do it that way. Moby and Katana Monk. All right, this is the first Peach I've seen in doubles today, which is amazing. Hmm. Peach is so good in doubles. I don't understand why people aren't using it more. Right, we got Moby and Kitana Monk. I, Kitana Monk. I've never heard of him or Moby for that reason, so it'll be interesting to see what they're like. They look kind of uh, nice right now, though. Oh, oh my god, what's happening? Big back here by uh, nobody. Meaty. But this is a great counter pick for the Rue team, of course. Because mm. Peach is going to be living. And we like a living Peach. This is Peach never dies. <laughs> Sounds like a Bond film. Peach is never dies. And see, this is the tactic of this, uh, this red team. You see, like... Fox goes in, Mark stands back. But what I'm feeling is that Mark could be standing a little bit closer. Mm. Like, and he'll be able to punish just that much harder if someone does actually escape. Just so uh, that just so his face is a little bit more and more aggressive and he can also react a lot quicker to get in on mistakes exactly. that are made. Close down that space. I think one thing on top of that is that you know I mean Yes, Fox can do more of the aggressive two-on-one pressure opening stuff, but I think a lot of people can also forget how good Marth is at cornering people in doubles. Like, because obviously everyone has that stigma of Marth isn't that great in doubles. He is! He is! He's just can be really good in doubles. Just, you gotta, you gotta play it right. Mm. You gotta play it right. You gotta be real cautious, but also, you know, do your stuff. Get them forward smashes and stuff. Right now we're ha we're having like a little. Oh, there we go. Kiss the peach. The, the match has slowed down quite a bit right now. Like uh, it, both teams are taking their time to think about what they kind of want to do. Big tip up. Huge. Percentage was was high. I think yeah, I think that that would have killed even even if it, if it, even if it wasn't like 167 percent or whatever it was. It was. It was huge. Nice game. That seemed what seemed like a tip of the uh, um, nair. Takes our stock. Telemarkin. I think Moby's the um, Marth player. On. See, right now, one of the issues is, is that when... Uh... Okay, good. Good at God. Uh... Some of the times I'm seeing uh, nobody run in, and uh, he'll make a little mistake and then get punished hard for it. And, uh... Sylvian is able to help him out, but I mean they're take they're in control. Let me see the two of them. I feel like both teams are looking kind of a little bit nervous right now. Both teams are aware that if they lose, they are out. No one wants to make that mistake. Ooh. To get this kill on this beach. Nope. Alright, I wanna see them double go I wanna see them double team this moth right now. If you hit the peach away, right, in doubles, you double team the other person, because that peach is not coming back for at least another four seconds. Yeah. And it's yeah, and it's not like this blue team's other character is Marth. Marth would get, like, destroyed in, uh, in doubles. Uh, in double team. So easily confident. Still, we're just still holding on to his third stock. Uh, tight battle, though. Other than his uh, three stock lead. But I think if we can get a cheeky gimp on this fox. This dash dancing fox. Ooh. Nah, not going 
back. Uh, we game one going right. over to Sylviana, nobody. 1-0 to Sylvian and nobody going into game two. I wonder where they're going to take the two. Peach and Mark. I personally would go Yoshi's if I was the red team. I mean, if I was uh, maybe in Kitana Monk. But they've gone to Battlefield. A little bit less space, but still big enough to move freely. Yeah. Ooh, that friendly fire. <laughs> It's like both players are just going in one on ones right yeah. now. <laughs> Jumps into that down smash Ooh, and. Wow, okay. Nice. He, he went Waited. looking for it, but he made it back. Waited. Kind of made sure those iframes were gone and kind of forced uh, Sylveon to get back on stage, otherwise, he's t t t t taking a hit from the umbrella. But a nice conversion on both characters. Gives him a two-stock lead. See, right there, the Fox got the up for up here, and uh, the other teammate came in to try and save it and got punished really hard for it. But a nice slap in the face to this Fox, and we're looking, it's a bit more even now, but right now the issue is nobody seems to be able to take a stock of Sylvian. Mm. Like, in the previous game, he was just hanging back a bit, and it's like, it's almost as if the blue team are are fine to ignore that. Like, just no one seems someone to go for him. It's yeah. like, if you want to hang back, you can hang back. It's almost like they've lightning rodded onto the uh, fox, but they're just kind of it, 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 it almost forgetting that Sylveon's there at times, because he's getting away with, like, throwing out some big attacks and then just getting back. Yep. They were also having a bit of wow. uh, miscommunication there, the blue team, that both of the t uh, players backing up around the same place. Happens quite a lot in teams if it's with a uh, person you're not used to partnering with or you don't have a game plan pre-made. You both tend to play the defensive position at the same time and you both get punished for it. They are so afraid of this red moth. It's like a like they think it's like Ken in 2008 or whenever he was good. Yeah. 2006. Whenever he was good. Yeah, he was good. He's still good. He's still good. Wow. Yeah. Kind of just saw, 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 saw that space to get in there and take it. Nice. He's the back air. That was good. Stock. There's nothing. Uh, so we can do about that. But I wonder if you know they if they suddenly change their aggression and kind of go all in on this map, if, if that's going to make any, any difference right now. Or, I mean, because then you know they can't they can't lightning rod into any into one or, or the, the other character. They have to be aware of both. And you know, well, I think that's the thing. Like I was playing Sylvian earlier. Like I think he's really ready for anyone who's super aggro against him. But I'd like to see a bit of aggro aggression from these people. They kind of just let him sit there, taking no damage. Every now and then he gets hit with a forward air by the other mark, but like that's not gonna kill him. And, oh wow. Wow, second jump gone. What seemed like to be quite a good position for the blue team actually turned out to be very, very bad. I think we were missing more. we were missing some down smashes as well in this match, but let's see if uh Peach does his wow. uh, tactical practice. Both trying a little too hard there. <laughs> Don't want to do it too often. They're going to find themselves in a situation they don't, they don't want to be in. Oh no, you can't jump into there. That was the baitest thing, All right? Okay, so come back. You know what, yeah. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. One grab will do it. So we're going to